Hello YouTube, it's Bebop 7 here and welcome back to Nietzsche and the Wolfpack Challenge! Now in the last episode, we actually found this very lovely lady right here, Ananala, which I have to admit her name is ridiculously fun to say, and she's actually fairly healthy. She does- okay, she's not the healthiest, but comparatively she is healthier and um... She, she's healthier than the other wandering female option, which is Rara, and she's very young, which is also good, and Bright Lily is not very young, which is uh, why she's so important, because hopefully she will be able to take over as our lead female. However, there might be a dilemma there. She will most likely end up mate to Malu because um, there's a good chance that Bright Lily will pass away before the second son. Conrad um, grows up enough to have a mate and Conrad is actually healthier. He does have um, worse fertility but comparatively he is healthier than his brother. He has perfect eyesight, he doesn't have a no paw, he also doesn't have- I don't think he has hemophilia. And uh, he doesn't have- yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. He's just healthier, really, overall. He also has a claw, which is good to have. So, out of all of them, I mean, really, Conrad would be a better fit for her as a mate. And, you know, another possibility that I hadn't quite considered would be Badger. Now, she and Badger could actually- we actually can they? Oh, no, never mind. I might have- I, I probably considered it, and I just forgot, but, uh, oh. That reminds me, we also talked about the acorns. Are we allowed to collect them? And the answer is yes, but only when we reach zero food. I really liked that suggestion. I think it makes sense. I can believe that wolves, um, if there's really nothing else around, I believe that they'd eat the berries. I believe that they'd eat nuts if they come across them. I mean, you gotta get your nutrients somehow. And if there's not a lot of prey around, I can believe them going after nuts. So if we have no food whatsoever, I'll go ahead and let them crack a couple of um, acorns. Maybe until we get like 10 food or something. I'm not sure how long we should be allowed to collect them afterward. Um, just enough to feed the tribe or just whatever acorns are there for one turn. Who knows? But alright. We do have a lot to do and Ananala is actually watching after Conrad. So I think Bright Lily is going to go ahead and let's actually look around. Is there anybody who is injured? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so you know what, John Patrick, while you're here, um, since there's not much that we can really do, why don't you go ahead and dig this up? Or attempt to. We're gonna send we're gonna try to let Malo do the same. Okay. Okay, I think I might send Bright Lily out here with the hopes of her getting fish, but let's try and let her dig as well. Ah, uh, you know what would be nice? It would actually be nice to have some beaked babies. It would actually be nice because then we could collect more food. Ah, uh, and the fish, fishing is not overly reliable. And I don't know what he wants to do, I mean... Bright Lily is very fierce against Wanderers. I'm not sure how Ananala will feel. Um, Ananala, she does have a more peaceful air about her than Bright Lily does to me. I mean, Bright Lily tried to be patient. She really tried, you guys, but those Wanderers were causing so many issues. Um, she's kind of encouraged just, if there is no possible use for them being invited to the tribe, smack them away. I wonder if she might have given a limit of attempts to invite them, depending on how impaired they are. Speaking of which, I realized that this guy right here should actually be ranked Omega because he has double no paws and he won't be able to breed at all. And he's he's actually very unhealthy, so I realize now that he should be ranked uh should be ranked Omega. But he's gonna go ahead and try to dig up this root. And his dad is not allowed to collect the acorns. So we're gonna have to see. I don't think he's, um, he can come up here. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, and I really don't like, I don't like this one right here. Her and both of her friends have been extremely painfully annoying. 
like uh, taking up the nest, eating our food, eating our healing fruit, and so on. Oh my goodness, those guys are so rude. But Anonala was actually fairly polite. I don't think she ate anything of ours. So Bright Lily isn't as hostile against her. I don't think she likes the idea of her spot as leader being threatened, but I do think that uh, she is also very realistic and she knows that she's going to be passing away soon, so I think she might try to impart some knowledge and wisdom to Ananala because she and her mate are going to be passing away soon and really, I mean actually if she passes away, technically Crove could take Ananala as a mate. He could take Ananala as a mate because the leadership spot isn't really gone until he passes away. And Bright Lily is assuming that uh, Ananala... I wonder if Bright Lily is assuming that Ananala is actually going to be Crow's mate. But uh, that'd be interesting because then Malo might actually challenge him. Challenge him for leadership. Oh no. Oh no, I don't know about that. Actually, that's probably what's going to happen. I totally forgot that Crow would be a leader and he would want more kids because our wolf pack needs to stay thriving, so, hmm. And she's the only other female. But let's go ahead, let's pass the turn. I rambled a lot. We just won a new genetic, what? I unlocked a new gene? Really? Okay, show me, show me, show me, show me. What did I unlock? I had to unlock some swimmy thing. Oh hey, we can encourage toxic body. You know what, that might not actually be a bad idea, considering where we are. Considering the fact that we are, um, that we are on this island. That would make a lot of sense. I'm still debating on if I want to go to this island. I would much rather not go to the Savannah Islands. I would really like not to. I, I know it's been a little bit, but, like, the experience there was not very pleasant, you guys. Sniff, 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 sniff. But Ananala is going to go ahead and collect those berries. And uh, we're going to let Badger collect these berries. And it might not be a bad idea to let them kind of go down here. And poor Reynold is still trying to get that root. It'd be awesome if he could get it soon. But uh, I think that Bright Lily... Oh right, she has water bodies. So why am I so worried about her swimming down here? Well, I think she wants to submerge herself. You know, this seems very familiar. I think before she became leader, this was where she was resting, trying to get fish. So she came back here, it seems, to pass away. Oh, Bright Lily. That is... That's kind of adorable. Aww. That's, that's sad, too. But if she's passing away... I think, um, I mean, Crow really did love Bright Lily, but he's not ridiculous. He knows that he should have another child while he's able to. So they're going to go ahead and court for this turn, and the next turn they're going to breed. And I think he's going to, when they breed, he's going to ring Ananala up to Alpha. And then, uh, yes, yes, she will have her baby. It'll, oh, that'll be interesting. I wonder if there'll be another girl. I would really appreciate another girl. But you know what, let's see. John Patrick is about to pass away. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let him. He got us the root. He got us the root. I wonder if we sniff. Uh -huh. It looks like they can actually go over this way. So we're gonna send you up this way, buddy. And actually it might not be the best idea to do that. So we're gonna send you back this way then. And we're gonna send Malo up this way. I think Krove is going to tell Malo to go up here and try to dig in the roots to help get uh, everybody more food. And Ananala isn't sure what she wants to do, but she's probably gonna swipe up this nesting material. And I think she's already feeling very motherly towards um, little, little Conrad here. So, hmm. Maybe not motherly, because I, well, who knows, who knows. She has to look after Conrad anyway. She has to look after Conrad anyway, and you know what? I wonder if by the time he grows up, if she'll even be a worthwhile mate for him anyway. Because, um, her, like, really what'll happen is she'll be able to be a mate to Krobe, then Malo will probably be her mate, and then by the time they're pro they might have one kid, who knows? 
Who knows? But Malo might try to overthrow Crove, or Conrad might try to overthrow Malo, because I don't know if he'd see his brother as fit. That would be pretty interesting. But let's go ahead, let's pass the turn, and let's say goodbye to Bright Lily. Goodbye, Bright Lily. Goodbye. Oh, that's sad. I really did like Bright Lily. She was real sweet. But okay. We are still trying to dig for this root. And you are still watching after this. And oh, look, it's that plant. I think that gives us nesting material. And then there's still these guys. And you know what? You guys have courted for a day. You don't have to worry about Conrad anymore. Um, let's go ahead and have you try breeding with him. No, didn't think it'd work. Um, why don't you... There we go. And she does not have the best genetics, so we're going to try to fight against... Okay, he doesn't have... Okay. We're fighting against the low fertility because that's still a major issue. So let's go ahead and put good eyesight. And let's put um, high fertility. We might end up with more blind nichelings, but hopefully if we breed her with Malo, that'll be less likely. It would be even better if we could... Um, if we could breed her with Conrad, but Conrad's still an itty bitty, so I don't know about that. Let's see, Conrad, not sure what to do, huh, buddy? Ah, <sighs> you're doing your best. Let's have you try to dig up this root. You can also try to dig up this root. Nice. And I think we'll send you to dig this up too. So we're still, we're doing barely okay on food. We're barely surviving. So you know what, it might not be a bad idea to try and encourage Toxic Body more often soon. Or, in the next episode, we try to leave to this island and give our wolf pack a bit of a break. But I don't know if that'd be challenging enough for this challenge. But at the same time, at the same time, I think it's a pretty, I think it makes sense. <laughs> because they would go to where easier places are to uh, easier places to get food. I feel like that's where they go. But at the same time, it feels almost too easy. You know what I mean? But I'm probably still gonna take them there. Maybe what we'll do is we'll take them there, but they're only allowed to stay there for so many turns. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if we go there, we'll end up restless again and we'll move. But let's go ahead. Let's pass the turn. Wait. So you got this a day. Tomorrow, so on the 11th turn of yours? Uh, we'll see. Yeah, because then you would be pregnant for one day, second day. John Patrick passed away! Nah, that's so sad! Collect a berry. Collect a berry. Don't collect that, though. Um. Okay, at least it's making it easier for us to keep watch on the food. You know what I mean? We're gonna, we're gonna move you back this way, buddy. I don't want you getting hurt. And Reynolds is doing his best. He's still not succeeding on that route. And let's see, Ananala, I'm not sure what she is able to do. I mean, huh. You know what? I am kind of interested. I think Ananala might head over this way to set up her nest this way. I think that's where she's more interested set it up by the ports because she sees the flowers and they make her feel safer and these two i think Mala's just glaring at his father because he wanted to be with Ananala and his father just you know took her as mate and actually she should be alpha right now so let's go ahead give her the blue gems and then let's give her the alpha ranking and she'll be able to have her baby on the next turn all right passing Oh, it rained! Oh, Barina. Um, Le Schnifferuni. There's also a Dodomingo. But there's a Barina. So, we're gonna go ahead and slice you up. Slice you up. Die. Oh, yes! Collect the food! Good job, Malo. Good job, guys. And you can go ahead and help collect up these berries for us, too. And we're gonna send you right here, my friend, because you need to collect these berries up for us. Looks like there weren't a lot, though. But Ananala, she's kind of scooting closer over here because she wants to sit down her nest by the ports. Because they make her feel better. And I wonder if she... Oh, there we go! 
you know, we're gonna keep Reynold around here. He is Conrad's brother, so even if he's not very strong, I think he'd want to try and protect him in a way, keep an eye on him, make sure he doesn't do anything reckless, and so far Conrad's actually been pretty passive. So, hmm. I don't know if he'd really be an issue in that area. He and Ananala are kind of both very passive. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and pass the turn, let's see. I think this is actually his last day of life, so Malo, with no one else challenging you, you could sweep in and take Ananala. And Ananala, I mean, you are the only eligible male, aside from Reynold, but Reynold's pretty obvious that it's not a good idea to mate with him. So I think Malo won't really have any competition until Conrad grows up, and I don't even know if Conrad will fight him, because Conrad seems to be very content just sitting by the berry bush. But let's go ahead and pass the turn. Very excited. <gasps> She's gorgeous! Oh my word! Right. Oh guys, look at her! She has perfect eyesight, she has perfect fertility, and she only has hemophilia recessive. She is ridiculously healthy. Oh my goodness, this is like the best possible outcome we could have had from her. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and give her a really nice name. Oh, you are really lovely. I like her coloring. You are really lovely, little one. Let's go ahead and give you, um, give you a name. Oh, uh, I wonder what name she'll get. I mean, rare... Females definitely seem to be rare in this tribe, so I understand that original name. But let's go ahead and see. I'm really excited. Okay. Um, there was Erica and Aragorn. I kind of, I guess we'll do Erica. I think I've had an Erica though. Uh, Forsythia. Oh, I like Forsythia. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and whoops, whoops, whoops. That's a Z. For Scythia. No, for Scythia. And okay, so since she was a generation I, what I might do is count for Scythia as a generation J. So we're gonna go ahead and put J in front of her name. So J for Scythia. There we go. I think that's fair, right? That is the next one, right? No 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 check mark, her name's good. I love that name. Okay. Okie dokie. You know, yeah, so depending on how long Ananala lives and on Conrad... Uh, Conrad, are you full grown? Okay, Conrad's full grown. I think this might end up being a fight. I think Malo, utterly enchanted with Anala, Ananala, is going to take his chance. He's going to take his chance and kind of take her as a mate or like, try to woo her, win her over. They were already kind of courting when Crove kind of popped in out of the blue and said, hey, um, I need you to be my mate and kind of started courting her. And when it's the alpha of a wolf pack, I mean, that's a pretty good deal, you know? If you're a, if you're a lower wolf, I imagine it'd be a pretty good deal. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, Grove kind of swept in first and kind of won her over. I don't know if Conrad... I don't know! Because Conrad's passive, but he would be a better mate, you know? I mean, I don't know, he seems very passive, but I do think he would be a better mate for Ananala, especially health-wise, since he is healthier than his brother. The only issue would be fertility, but that can easily be fought against. I mean, look at her daughter with Crove, who had blindness, no paw, and he also had um, low fertility. Look at how she Forsythia turned out. I mean, their babies would be a lot healthier, but at the same time, Malo really seems to be gunning for that role. So if he does get that role, I wonder if perhaps Conrad, as he's um, getting older, he's still a very young adult, you know, very young. He's, he's not quite as experienced. I wonder if as a few turns go by, he might start thinking about having a family. So I don't know if he'd wait for, for Scythia, or if he would just try to take the alpha role for himself, because he and his brother 
are close in age or close-ish in age so if he waits for Forsythia I'm not sure how long he'd even have the role so it's if he's patient enough and if it's worth it enough but there's a good chance of there actually being a fight going down I am very I'm not sure it's just they're both good possibilities for her and technically Conrad is healthier so we'll have, we'll have to see it also depends on Ananala herself. It would be interesting if, logically, she decided to pick Conrad for healthier babies. And if Malo might feel a little frustrated at that. I mean, he would probably understand from her point of view, but he's really, really in love with her, so he would be hurt. And he would want to be um, her mate instead, so he might pick a fight. That would be interesting to see if Anala chooses. I don't know. What's your opinion, you guys? If you have any ideas on that, let me know. But alright, I do think that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you all for watching, but I'm going to be popping on out of here, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye!